I'm about to have an interview with Habitat for Humanity and if I get the house I really want to document everything which I like kind of want to document because it's good for Habitat for Humanity and because it's like an interesting journey but then I'm like but everybody's gonna know kind of where you live not really but then at the same time you're gonna know I live in a habitat house and there's only so many habitats house so Either way, I feel like it's gonna get known anyways, and I just, I really wanna document it. So I put in my application like a year ago the first time. I put it in when I was still living in low-income housing, and my manager um, at the complex was like, I really think that you should apply. They're gonna build like 10 houses in the valley next year or this year. And uh, they asked me if I know anybody that I think would be a good candidate, because obviously everybody in there is low-income housing, and she would know people that are like good and not good. And she's like, yeah, so we should, apply and I'm gonna put in a good word for you. That was like a year ago, maybe a month ago, somebody from Habitat for Humanity called me and said, we need an updated uh, this, this, and this from your form because it's outdated, obviously, because that was like a whole different tax season now. And then I didn't have my 2015 tax summary, so I couldn't put in the stuff and I never got around to like getting back to her. So she actually called me again and was like, we really need this. I really think that you guys would be a good fit and like I'm going through all the applications and I really want to, to present your application to the committee um, but the committee's like having this meeting on next Tuesday so I need it by Monday and then like I like hurried to get like as much information as I could but I felt like it was like really promising because the fact that she called me back which she didn't have to like there's millions of applications and like even when we were talking she was talking about like how people will apply but they'll have like lots of debt and then like she's like I just don't even know how they're like they're surviving like they're definitely not good applicants and you like you're debt free and like I just feel like you were like you're just a really good fit that was a couple weeks ago and I never called because I knew that if they didn't have enough time they were gonna meet again at the end of the month which I guess makes sense they said at the 25th so it makes sense that they're calling me now and then they're like they called me today and they were just like Can we want to make an appointment with you to come do an interview either tomorrow or the next day and I was like well I work three days a week and I work tomorrow and the next day so they're coming over now they're coming over in like an hour um, and they called me like an hour ago so that's like pretty quick to come see me so I have high hopes but yeah I don't know I don't know much about like the actual process, I just kind of know like the gist of it. And I'll explain Habitat Homes later, because um, that probably doesn't make a lot of sense to you guys. But pretty much it's it's a home that is built for low-income families, and it's like based off your income, so you get to own the house. Uh, the low-income family gets to own the house, but they don't have like a huge mortgage, so it's like affordable, but it's still there, so it's helping them get ahead in the long run. If that makes sense? That's the short version of what Habitat for Humanity is. So I think it's been... I think it's been two weeks since I had the interview with Habitat for Humanity and it went really well. They told me that they'd still have to present my file to a different panel because it already went through like one panel of things. So they told me like I wouldn't really know anything until a month. And then like the beginning of December and it was the beginning of November when I had the meeting. Last week they started calling references even though like they called me the rental property even though I already had like a rental reference like that said like Bonnie's a good tenant, she's never been late, there's never been a noise complaint or anything like that. So they called, they called there and then they called one other reference that I had, it was just like a personal reference that I forgot I had even written on there because my application I put in like a year ago, but uh, I don't know, they didn't, they weren't building then so they weren't going through applications and now they are. So then I only had to update some things like my income tax and stuff like that, but I never like reread my application because I would have taken this rented reference off because they aren't planning to give me a good reference I don't know if they said that they called but I don't know if they said like if they're gonna say anything bad or if they even answer the phone or what so I called I just left a message and they never called me back yet well until today I just called and said like I uh, just wanted to like change a reference because uh, one's not gonna be good like people have falling out so it's natural and it's not really like I have anything to hide so I can't I don't really think like the reference could really like screw me bad but it just sucks that I have a reference on my application that wouldn't be a good reference. When I have like a million other people I could have on there that would give me an amazing reference. But anyway, so they called me back today and I called them like, probably like a week ago now. And they called to say that they want to meet with me again with the board of directors and then just one of the ladies that I met with last time. Uh, which I find really strange because they said that I wouldn't hear from them until the beginning of December. But it must be good because like if they're meeting with you then they're seriously looking at you so I have good hopes and the reference couldn't have answered or given me a bad reference if they want to meet with me still so I shouldn't be too worried about it. But yeah, I just wanted to update on this 
application process. So I just talked to the lady from Habitat for Humanity who I thought I met with last time but apparently I met with two volunteers that were just like getting a feel for me I guess or something. I'm not really too sure but she we have an appointment next Wednesday but I chatted with her on the phone for a little bit because I like I have no I forgot to ask what this place was it's they used to build like habitat homes that were just like one home and then now they started making it so that it's like a couple together not like a townhouse complex but like more like duplexes but like a call the sack of duplexes kind of thing it's gonna be like that she said it's gonna be a three bedroom with a half bath so everything downstairs is gonna be like open concept she said so it's gonna be like it's gonna feel really open so I'm not gonna have like this little room like how it's actually like a room it's gonna there's gonna be no wall probably but it's gonna feel a lot bigger and she said it's a duplex which I think I already said and then there's gonna be half bath downstairs and then three bath three bedrooms upstairs and a bathroom and then there'll be like a tiny little backyard she said I think there might be like uh, garden shed she's not 100% on that and then they might build like a park in the middle of the area uh, just for the kids because everybody in there has kids and then I asked quickly if because <clears throat> the thing about buying this house I'm like there has to be a catch you know like you just don't get something good and nothing comes from it but I don't know so I asked like what about if like when I go to s sell it like if I want to sell it or like say I get into a relationship with somebody and like we need to move because this place it's too small and she said that if you sell before 10 years before 20 years before 10 years I think it's 20 years she said if you sell before 20 years that it goes back to habitat like habitat will buy it back but you get everything that all all of the money I spent like put towards it like I get that all back so like Habitat will buy it, but I still get everything that I've already spent on it. So it's pretty much like a big savings account. And because there's no finance, I think, whatever it's called. So like usually if you buy a house, she said that you don't start actually like saving money on it until like eight years or something because it, like, of, I don't know. I don't know anything about this. If you bought a house before, you might know what I'm talking about. But so as soon as I move into this place that it would be... I'd be saving money right away because there isn't any of that interest or whatever thing added to it. So from the day I move in to the day I move out, it's just building the money that I would be spending here on rent. It's actually going to be like mine later. Uh, so that's really sweet. So regardless, like whatever happens to us in the future, then I'll still be put ahead. And then there was one more thing that I was like, well, how many people are in this like interview process? I feel like I might be a finalist already. I'm not sure. I think I am because I don't know. She said that I was like, I thought I wasn't supposed to hear from you guys until the end of the month. Uh, and she's like, no, we're going to tell you like if you got in or what section you're in or whatever, because I guess they're going to tell you like if you're in A, B or C um, or D, I guess there's a couple sections. Like if you're going to be the first round of houses or the second round of houses or the, like whatever. So I think that I already might've gotten in. But I'm, I don't know. <laughs> okay, L lose a funny face. Thank you. So we just had our meeting with Habitat for Humanity and I'm gonna make a whole nother video of, like explaining kind of more in depth about Habitat for Humanity. Um, but the interview went great. They, <laughs> they started off the interview by saying they're building they're building 10 houses and they start off the interview by saying you're in the top 10. Mommy, I turned off it. Turned on your quiet. Thank you. So that means I got it. So they're like, yeah, you're going to have to really bomb this interview not to get it. So we got it. Um, you're, you're doing your funny faces back there. Um, <laughs> Hannah, you can come stand over here if you want to be in the video. So anyways, um, the interview went great. They just asked me like some random questions and I'm the worst for answering questions. Like you can ask me the simplest question, but on the spot I freeze. I'm like, I don't know what the answer to that is. Like, what's your favorite thing about your daughter? Somebody else is asking me that and I like, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> you're now you're doing your silly face. Uh, pretty much they just wanted to meet me get to know me, uh, get to know our story so that when they go tell people about us, they're not just kind of like reading off our script. They said, hey, I'm pretty sure that I'm in actually in the top five, but so they're building 10 houses in like a little area and then now they just have to pick Haley, who's going first in the houses and then they already have one person going first and then they're building like duplexes. So we're going to have a duplex 
Haley. <laughs> she doesn't even understand what this means, and she's excited. Uh, so yeah, they're now they're just trying to pick out who is gonna be, who needs it the most, and who's like, yeah, pretty much who needs it the most for who's going next. Uh, the last house is gonna be built in 2019 in three years, which sounds 2019. He said three years, and I'm like, okay, that's not that bad. And then he said 2019, and I'm like, whoa, that's a long time. <laughs> Um, yeah, so uh, Last House is going to be in 2019, but they said I'm in like the top five, so it shouldn't be that long. And I asked when the second build was going to be because I'm pretty sure I'll be in the second build. Just because, like, <laughs> well, we are in a place right now, um, our lease isn't up until <laughs> April or May or something. Uh, but I, I doubt the house is even going to be ready in, by April or May, so it would still be fine. It would still be good if, uh, if we got the first round houses, I just, like I don't know anybody else's story, so I would assume that there's worse off people than me. Uh, but yeah, anyways, so we're getting a house, I don't know when, and I will update you, make a like, full sit down video explaining Habitat for Humanity and when we're getting the house and the plan. Why are you being so silly? <laughs> when I figure out in like two weeks, which I probably haven't posted this video yet, but I will post it. And uh, and then yeah, I'll let you know what's happening. And yeah, I'm super excited. <laughs> You're so weird. <laughs> Do you want to say goodbye? Bye. <laughs>